ability to sit together and have a conversation that hopefully helps you expand your own abilities to create the life that you choose. And since we're in the place of new beginnings, we're in a new year and barely in a week, and well, 10 days, we'll say 10 days. (laughs) Here we are 10 days into 2022. Allowing yourself to move forward is one of the hardest things to do because we're constantly identifying with who we are or who we were yesterday and the day before that and the day before that. Um, Being able to stretch the boundary of who you believe you are is part of the ability to move forward and succeed. We can be an expert in our field and have no faith in our abilities and never get any further than the the paperwork that it's written on, that you graduated, that you have a degree, that you have worked at a certain place for a certain amount of years. Those are all fine and good if that's all you are trying to achieve. But if you want to achieve your, your energy of doing what you feel that is necessary on your path to life, whatever your calling is, there's always something within us that that wanted something more or thought there was something more. And unless you have lived a very highly functional life and achieved every single thing that you've set out to achieve, which is 90% of us uh, who are working toward that, We have to understand that we are a product of who we've been told we are. And the first thing you have to do is break out of other people's opinions and beliefs about us and and their fears. Because some people are trying to help limit you because they think by limiting you, they can keep you safe. Don't go too far out on that limb. It might break off underneath you. And it is a place of protection they're coming from, but fear is not a, a, a serving energy. Fear is a retreating energy. That's the only way to go forward is to feel the fear and do it anyway. So allowing yourself to get past what you've been told you are is a, is a difficult task. So this is why we're talking about it today. I want you to understand that if I were to tell you You have great success coming toward you any second. You're going to get an idea that's going to put you on the map. And that map is vast and large. And you will receive abundance raining down like manna from heaven. Some of you would go, oh, yes, excellent, and and tie into that and, and grab onto it and be able to receive it. Others of you will go, well, we'll see. Remains to be seen. I need facts. And still others will think immediately, well, that's not possible. Not with the way, not with my circumstances. There's too much that's gone wrong. I can't recover from, from what all the things I've been through in my life. Now, the universe didn't say no to any of those things. You did. And you have to be in a place of being able to stop with the immediate rejection of the alternate of success if you're especially if you're in failure if you're in a feeling of being defeated and if you're in a feeling of being you know having bad luck or just the circumstances of life or everything worked against you start from now you can do it you just have to believe it's possible A lot of times uh, people will recommend, and I highly recommend, finding a mentor, somebody who is in the position you want to be in, somebody doing what you want to do. Even if you don't meet them in person, there are plenty of people who write books and tell you how they did it. Um, You can, you know, listen to a podcast like this one and allow yourself to, to just understand there are things that you are limited in, especially... Uh, If you have not learned the skills that allow you to muster what's within you 
and and as the <laughs> I believe the Navy SEALs uh, have said this, and I know it's a, it's a, you've got to embrace the suck. There's going to be times in life where things are just S-H-I-T. And guess what? S-H-I-T happens. Um, I've changed a lot of diapers in my life. I didn't want to do it, but guess what? Somebody had to do it. So it's part of that whole thing of just do what you need to do at the present moment to get to the goal. What you're doing at the present moment doesn't mean you won't get the goal. It just means there's something between you and the goal. Now, if you feel like you cannot receive what I'm telling you, understand that a seed was planted in you. If you have this big barrier that that you cannot even perceive what I'm saying, there is a barrier that's been planted. It's an enormous hedge that has grown from the seed of doubt. Someone has given you that seed and you planted it and nurtured it and now it's in full bloom and it's blocking your path. So you have a choice. Not everybody wants to be, you know, the Maharaja. Be who you are called to be and allow yourself to try. You'll be surprised, even if you don't hit the mark that you've set. We'll say, I want to win a million dollars. Well, would you be happy with three quarters of a million? I would. Just because you don't hit that mark doesn't mean you won't hit a mark that's higher than what you would if you didn't aim. Because not aiming is sure failure. So it is, it's called reaching the mean. So you set your goal for the moon and you hit a star. Okay, you still you still hit a star, right? So don't allow yourself to count yourself out. Just because you're 50 years old, just because you're 60 years old, or just because you're 20 years old. Doesn't matter what side of the railroad tracks you came from. Doesn't matter what's going on in your life. Someone else has faced adversity in some similar way and has come through it and achieved highly. So there's no doubt in my mind that anything is truly possible. And I've seen a lot of people reach for that golden ticket and get it. And in every single scenario of the people that I have coached through the times of pulling ourselves through the shadow energy, every one of them had to persevere the doubt and had to persevere the silence Because while it's forming, while it's happening, sometimes you hear nothing and you have to believe even though you've not gotten a confirmation. So this is not about uh, being factual. This is about manifesting. And the first rule of manifesting is that you have to be open in your belief. Also remember, things have been planted in your subconscious from childhood. You've been given all kinds of of nice little overheard conversations. And when you're a kid and you overhear something, you're A, the conversation isn't to you, but we always take it as though it is about us. If we're told, if, if we're in the room and the parents want to talk about something important and they tell us to go to our room, we feel like we're being punished. But it's because they're trying to protect us from the seriousness of whatever the conversation is going to be. Doesn't matter to the child, though, because we'll go to the room sullen and angry. I never get to stay in the room when they're talking. They must be talking about me and get, you know, we, we assume we get to these places work because as a child, the world is all about you. Every single thing you believe you're the center of the whole world. So some of the things that we carry with us as doubt are old, incorrect rememberings or instant uh, beliefs that we came up with at the time in a child's mind. You know as well as I do, a child's mind does not have the capacity to understand the complications and intricacies of things that happen in a daily household, right? Bills, money, jobs. There's a whole myriad of things that could have been going on in that conversation, And then you've got the personal relationship between the two people. It doesn't have anything to do with the child, but the child doesn't know that. And so remember, as you go back to try to kind of 
filter through, literally panning for for that seed, trying to find where you planted it, it'll come to you. The minute that you sit down and ask yourself, where did the doubt come from? Where did the the feeling that I was limited, where did I begin to limit myself? And it's, it is either your belief that you created erroneously or someone else's belief that they sowed the seed of doubt into you. There's a reason why they say beyond the shadow of a doubt, because doubt is shadow energy. You have to come out into the light to allow yourself to be open and available and in the vibrational frequency of what it is that you want. And you don't need anyone's permission and you don't need anyone's approval. If you approve and it is your dream, if you concentrate on it, you'll find a way and the universe will help you. So setting a resolution was our last week's conversation. And that's why I was saying, make it purposeful, make it something you really want. Also, make it something that you believe. And if you can't believe it, find out why. So part of of these goals that everybody sets at the beginning of the year are, you know, usually health-oriented, lose weight, stop drinking, stop smoking, walk more exercise more. You don't even have to, some people don't need to lose weight, but they need to be more physically fit, right? So especially during these times, we've all been couch potatoes, <laughs> kind of burrowed up in our own homes. So a lot of people resorted to the fitness, the ability to run on a treadmill, the, the feeling of getting in that energy of escaping or moving forward, breaking through boundaries, allowing yourself to be in that that energy of, of doing that. And I tell you, any goal you set, make it something that's realistic, short-term goals. Piece it up because that's how you eat an elephant, one bite at a time. You allow, and not that I'm, I'm not condoning the eating of an elephant. This is just a phrase that people say. It's a very um, profound phrase if you think about it because... Nobody can eat a whole elephant in one bite, and that's the whole thing. So allow yourself to be in the energy of being open to what you are moving toward and understand that if it's not something you want, you can change it. You don't need anyone's permission. You don't need anyone's approval. You can change your circumstances from right here, no matter where you are. That's the beautiful part. No one has any priority over anyone else. You set your own priority. It is up to you, and you are the one who has the keys to the whole thing. When you start to move in the energy of this, you'll see that At first, it seems daunting, and it seems like it's going to take forever. And that's okay, because I I told myself when, when I started that task of choosing and then moving forward, what was it? What else was I going to do forever? Just be exactly where I am right here, so it's not like I'm going to lose anything. I'm not I'm not letting go of anything more important, right? I'm I'm at least I'm here, so this or something better is what I'm going to end up with, just like I was talking about the mean. The mean is where you aim for something higher, and whatever you hit from here to there is still better than where you are, right? So allow yourself to let yourself set a goal that's more than you would have probably tried for on a regular day. Let yourself dream a little bit, expand your horizons, and see if you can attain it. And if your goal is something to do with fitness or writing a book, start thinking of yourself as a fit person or a writer or an artist or a musician. That's the first person you have to convince is you. Everyone else will believe you once you believe it. So I hope this has given you some 
fodder for your inner conversation and allow yourself to release the doubt, suspend your disbelief. That's how magic happens. That's how miracles happen. Do it as an experiment. Allow yourself one goal. Okay, so if this is true and I concentrate on whatever it is you want to concentrate on, attracting a cup of coffee, attracting a bird or a butterfly or someone who you haven't heard from, all of a sudden they call you out of the blue or show up out of the blue. If that's what you need, do that. If you don't need that and you allow yourself just to start in the energy of believing that you are what you already want to be, that you have already achieved it, and start to see yourself in that energy, Walk up and down the aisles of the bookstore. Look at the authors and kind of blur your eyes and let yourself put your name in their place. Allow yourself to feel the feeling of already having done what it is that your goal or your heart is set on. Go and look at massive, beautiful works of art, and you can find them anywhere, little shops in different places. Find yourself in the space of who you would be and what you would do if you were already doing it. And allow yourself to become what you're setting out to do. Because once you once that clicks, it will begin. And you will start the motion and the movement in the right direction. Don't time limit yourself. Don't give yourself ultimatums. This is not a race. Everyone moves in their energy differently, and there may be things you need to learn along the way. Be open to all new information coming in. Have conversations with people who already do what they do. I've sat and talked to different people who've written books, which we're going to have this month. Uh, I've got an interview to, to publish probably next week. And will allow yourself to be in the energy of understanding that whatever is in your heart Is what you were born with as your path, as your sacred journey. Allow yourself to activate it with your belief because that's what is necessary. You can try, you can struggle, you can do all things in the whole wide world that add up to what you should add up to, to have success. But if you don't believe it's possible, you're chasing your tail. So belief is the number one criteria to move in the energy of success and achieving your dreams. And I hope that I have helped kind of sort that out for you and allow you to get the blocks off the beliefs that you had that no longer serve you. Let them go and make new ones. You can choose to change your mind. Isn't that an excellent thing? So with that, I'll leave you all into the energy of contemplation and allow the beautiful energy of blessings and abundance. As I speak to you now, I send all the angels and archangels, all the divine blessings that could possibly come your way to help you step into your true identity and onto the path for your success. May you have wealth, health, Abundance and prosperity, happiness, joy, and blessings beyond belief. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next week. 